And today we're talking all about taking chances, risk, out on a limb, opportunities, all the stuff, <laughs> okay? So keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denagno. Today we're talking about the book, Speak, by Tunde Oyenian. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is memoir, all right? So I had never heard of Tunde before. Well, correction. I didn't know I had heard of Tunde before. You know how you'll see a red car in the morning and then you see red cars for the rest of the day? That's what happened with this book. I picked it up because I was looking for books that were all about confidence, speaking out, being who you are. And now I'm seeing Tunde everywhere. She has a new Nike campaign. She was mentioned in the show Billions and Wags was like, oh, I was doing my course with Tunde. Of course he would name drop Tunde. She's one of the biggest Peloton instructors. I don't have a Peloton. I had no idea, right? So I'm starting to see Tunde everywhere. She's popping up all over my Instagram. And so this book had a ton, a ton of different gems in it. But what I absolutely love is the fact that Tunde is constantly showing us all of the different times and opportunities where she steps up and takes a risk. When she was younger, she was overweight, you know, she was full figured, she was well rounded, she was all that stuff when she was younger. So she took a chance and lost weight and then she was self-conscious about her arms being so muscular. Now, this day and age, everybody wants some Michelle Obama arms, some Angela Jo- not Angela Jolie some Angela Bassett arms, but they weren't a big deal back in the day. She talks about becoming a makeup artist and training people for these really big brands. She talks about mentorship and that sparks one of my absolute favorite quotes, which is where she says, parenting is about service. Oh, I've never heard anyone describe parenting in a better way, okay? This was right after she was talking about mentoring and giving back to the girls. She would teach them how to do makeup, but she would really just spend time with them. She was there as a friend, as a confidant to listen to all that. She shares a story about mentorship, but also that quote is relevant because she's talking about how there are other ways that she can serve before she becomes a parent. She's taking care of Caesar, her dog. She's looking after these girls when she's mentoring other people. She's even serving herself and her community by cutting off her hair when she wants to, wearing fake locks when she wants to, doing what she wants, rocking her arms, the Tunde arms, okay? Rocking them, all of those things she's doing in service of other people. And so, yes, she may not be a mother in terms of naturally birthing a child, but she is still serving all these people. And like, I love to see it like that because parenting is very challenging <laughs> because you can't anticipate another person's hunger. You can't anticipate another person's exhaustion. You can't anticipate none of that stuff. But I had never thought of it as service. I mean, your kid pops off, I want some juice. Can I get a please? Because you are constantly serving them. I love that this is a memoir because I needed to know Tunde's background. I needed to know her relationship with her mother and her father. I needed to know about the brother that she lost, right? All of those things set us up for Tunde taking the chance to move to California, Tunde taking the chance to leave Texas, Tunde taking chances. So let's talk about more chances that you can take, all right? Watch this video here, which is all about how you can be a professional troublemaker, take chances in the workplace, and stand up for your coworkers. So keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.